Hopefully you all can see me because it's kind of dark in here. Okay, I just looked and it's not as dark as the camera as it appears in the room. Hi everybody, it's Wednesday and it's not a day you normally see me, but uh, I had a rough week, a rough weekend, there's a lot of stuff going on, and then to cap it off, I had to work on Monday, and do something that usually doesn't happen, so I just knew that there was no way I was going to get a video up, so thank you Kelly so much for switching with me at the last moment. I'm also very thankful that I get to go later in this week because I feel like this topic is really hard for me. Uh, I, I don't want to express things that are going to hurt anyone's feelings or say anything wrong. So I kept going back and forth on what I really, really wanted to talk about this week. I guess in, in a whole, uh, I think that the days of YouTube or the heydays of YouTube are over. I don't know, I feel like two or three years ago, YouTube had like hit like a really good stride and there was all these people that were like doing really well and coming out and getting a lot of subscribers and they were all down to earth people that you could talk to over Twitter or you could talk to in the comments and, and you know, really get to know them and there was a lot of new fresh faces popping up everywhere and there were all these fun collab channels where people were really interacting as a community and then all of a sudden, all of these big YouTubers started making a lot of money and getting together and making media companies that were more about the product and the viewership and getting the likes than really communicating with the community and getting to know people and I just feel like it's not as much fun and social as it used to be. That's just my opinion. I've definitely seen a drop in how like how people talk in the comments nowadays and just how many people watch and how many people are talking about YouTube and it just doesn't seem as much fun as it used to like it doesn't seem like a community of like social it just feels like people putting up videos and you know wanting people to watch them to get their numbers of views up I don't know I think VidCon is a great idea it's definitely an idea that I hope Hank and John really develop into a real social thing and not as much as a come out and see all these celebrities type thing. So I don't know. I've never been to VidCon, so if you have, maybe you can tell me how it's different than what it is in my head. So I don't know. My unpopular opinion. So kind of responding to Kelly. Kelly, uh, I'm so proud of you for talking about politics because I wanted to talk about politics and then I decided against it just because I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit opposite of you. You know, I voted for Obama at one point and I am very disappointed by the things that he's done and the things that he's said and I don't feel like he's really followed the what I thought he was going to do. So I'm on the opposite spectrum, I guess. You know, I, I read a lot of stuff and I watch a lot of his interviews and I watch a lot of his press conferences because I work in the news business and I just feel like the things that he says and the things that he does don't match up and I'm, I don't like that. I don't like that in anybody, no matter what party you're affiliated with, but definitely I feel like there's more of a disconnect with what I thought he was going to do and what has actually been going on. You know, I live in Nashville, which is a pretty liberal, pretty urban city, and so most of the people I know with, especially the people I work with, are huge Obama supporters, and I'm like you, Kelly, when the topic comes up, I just don't talk about it because I know my opinion is not a popular one with them, so I just kind of lay back and don't say it, unless I know that I'm going to win the argument. <laughs> but whoever wins in politics, no one ever really wins in politics. Amy. You are okay with having your opinion about Twilight? I know there are probably people who are thinking that I'm going to freak out and be like, ah! But honestly, Bella Swan is like the least favorite thing of the entire book. I liked mostly the whole Edward and Jacob stuff. And I happened to have been going through a breakup when those books came out. And so it gave me something to think about besides just this guy that I used to be with and what we had and imagine like you know kind of a, a fictitious person of what I wanted and so it got me away from that and moved me on to something else and so that's what I liked about it and I know that obviously that opinion is very unpopular <laughs> of liking Twilight I think either way you are it's an unpopular it's an unpopular opinion but I'm gonna quit talking my mouth kind of hurts I texted the girls I had surgery today to remove a flap that's in my mouth that's part of my gums 
and it was a very surprise surgery. I knew it was going to happen eventually this year, but I didn't realize it was going to happen today. And so it was a little bit scary, and the wound looks a little bit scary. There's literally like a hole in my upper lip inside. But according to Amy, mouth wounds heal faster, so I'm really praying that that, you know, covers itself up soon, and that I'm not left with a ga gaping hole in my mouth for the rest of my life. So. <sighs> I am ready.